Hi everyone. In case you haven't watched Little Lucy Popular, I'm Amber, and I have an important announcement for everybody who watches the series, regardless of how many episodes they've watched, and everyone who's considering watching it. I'm here to reiterate my message that I clearly state in the description of each episode that this applies to. Lala Lucy Popular contains content that is unsuitable for viewers aged under 12 years old. This isn't included in every episode, but I need to repeat this as I've been seeing increasing numbers of viewers I suspect are under 12 commenting on episodes that include the warning. You're probably wondering why this matters. People under 12 see and hear things that they probably shouldn't on a daily basis. It helps them make up their minds about what's right and wrong, and it doesn't matter if they don't repeat it. It matters because some episodes include themes such as homophobia, eating disorders, breakups and cheating, and bullying. Although I try and show in my series that these are wrong and they have consequences, some children may not get the right message and instead think that because their favorite toy is calling someone else an expletive or starving themselves to the point where they have to be hospitalized, that it's okay for them to do it as well. I know from experience that when I was 9 or 10, I would have been much more likely to repeat words that I saw on videos, like those included in the La Lucy Popular occasionally, and talk about themes that I saw in them. Now I'm old enough to realize that these things are not right in society, but viewers who are under the age limit may not be. You get more mature with age, and I feel as if when you're 12 years old, you're a lot more likely to know about these topics and realize that they're wrong. But why do I include these themes in my videos? I mean, I make them with kids' toys after all. It's the same reason people make movies and TV series rated 12 or PG-13 on purpose. I didn't come up with a plot and accidentally slip in some bad language and bullying. I did it to make my series as realistic as I could get it after the embarrassing mess I made of episodes 1 to 7. These themes are tightly woven with the storyline, and if I was going to take them all out now, then I wouldn't be able to make any more episodes that made sense. I include in eating disorders, homophobia, mental illness, and bullying to show how they affect people and how it's wrong to bully people. My older viewers should be able to realize this. I include bad language sparingly and only use it for effect and to make the series more realistic. Calling someone an expletive is far more hurtful than calling them rude or nasty, and a 15 year old like Amber in this series is a lot more likely to use bad language than a milder alternative when they're insulting someone. The words I choose to use are always pretty mild. I haven't said anything strong enough to go into an R-rated movie or a 15 in the UK, and I don't plan to. From now on, I will be putting a warning inside the actual video as well as in the description, as I don't feel that people take enough notice of the description. I've seen lots of accounts that don't look like they're owned by someone very old commenting on episodes of Well Weeks Too Popular that are rated for ages 12 and up. This is something I wish I'd done a lot earlier, like from the start of the series, but obviously I can't edit the videos now because they're already up on YouTube and I don't want to delete all the views and nice comments from people who, you know, have watched it, who are the right age to watch it. I didn't think it would be necessary when I started the series, in all honesty. I just thought people would read the description, but I realized that that's just not true. Some people just want to watch videos. I'm not one of them. I always read the description, even if it gives, gives away pl plot spoilers uh, and just random things I'm not interested in. I always want to see what's in the description. Finally. I want to say that the age rating is only a guideline. Some 11 year olds are a lot more mature than others, and if your 12th birthday is in like 2 days, then I'm not going to stop you from watching it. It just depends if you've heard of the themes in my videos, and understand what they're about, and understand that I'm showing it for dramatic effect, not because it's the right thing to do, because being homophobic 
having an eating disorder, or bullying other people, or swearing at other people is not right, and you guys shouldn't do it, regardless of how old you are, or if you think it's right or wrong. I don't want to be the way people find out about these themes. I want people to be mature enough to appreciate me including them. Lastly, I would like to apologize to everyone underage who's watched episodes of Lala Loopsy Popular that they're not meant to, and for not taking enough care to prevent you guys watching them. I have been approached by people I don't think are old enough to watch these episodes saying, I love your series and can we be friends and things like that. And I feel very guilty. I, I don't want them to watch it. Although I do want viewers for the series, I want viewers that can understand it and I want mature enough viewers. I don't want to be spreading bad messages to younger children. Thank you for watching. And for those of you who are old enough to watch my series, then thank you for being so supportive even if I do put some iffy content in them. Thank you guys, and I will see you soon. Goodbye!